Okay, back it is. So we just finished Battle 16. Actually, pretty perfect mission. We didn't take any damage, had no repair costs, uh, killed every, every, every mech, uh, achieved both objectives. Kimchi actually got uh, five full kills. She killed everything in the mission, so she did very well. So if we go to the barracks, we've got all our pilots, well, except for the ones that were sick before, but we got uh, Artemis, Fudski, Kimchi, and Scooter. Pinball stayed behind because she's got low spirits, but we're really low on pilots, so uh, ju uh, Jumpman is back in eight days, as you can see. Chunker and Matches are actually out for another two months, as before. So I'm pretty sure one day would have clicked by. We have, we still have a viable um, Lance of light mechs which, with two genders, which are actually pretty heavy hitters for how light they are. And a couple of uh, small mechs, a spider for scouting, and the locust has been doing really well from long range, just staying out of harm's way and uh, shooting missiles. The big thing is the last mission, we found ourselves a Shadowhawk, which is 10 tons heavier than our Vindicator, has a really good weapon set, and we're going to see if we can fit it for this next mission. So this, uh, this little blurb will be about the uh, fitting of the Shadowhawk. So usually the Shadowhawk, as you can see, has, it can carry missile weapons in the right torso and the center torso, it's a missile, missile can carry projectile weapons, ballistic hard point in the shoulder, which usually is like an autocannon 10 or something like that. Um, what are energy weapons in the arms. So let's see what we have here. Let's see. So we have an autocannon 5, which would work. We could put that in there for now. Um, small laser. Really don't have a great weapon set to fit this mech out. So let's just money we got about 800,000 let's jump back to the store see what they've got auto cannon 20 no way too big for this mech I don't know if there is a Shadowhawk made up with that it also jumps so there's really nothing in the store either well, that's too bad I don't think that auto cannon 20 is going to be useful LRM I don't know what kind of LRMs it has I, th I guess we could load it up with a let's go back so we could put an autocannon 5 there. That doesn't give it a huge hit, but it gives it something. We don't want to underpower it, really. LRM 10 would be a pretty heavy hitter. <coughs> and, boy, medium lasers. we got a couple of them, so we could put one in each arm. It's certainly not a, a small hitter. I don't know how the game scales when you increase tonnage. So LRM ammo, I mean, you might as well put it in the center torso, because if your center torso goes, you're done anyways. Let's see, any other LRMs? We've got an LRM-5. If we put a LRM-5 in there, too. Don't have them weaponed up enough. I mean, that's a pretty good set of weapons right there. The heat's not great, so if we took some heat sinks and put them in the feet. You saw in the last mission how well uh, heat sinks do. Okay, now we're too heavy. So that would leave us without as much armor as we'd like. Mm, so we'll just take one ton of ammo. Lowers things a bit. Heat's not bad. Firepower, I'm not sure what that means. Damage, 135. Maximum stability damage, 30. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't really learned in a great way what this does. Uh, range, 600 meters, so middle of the road. Hmm. So let's look at uh, armor. We're gonna, we want to jack up the armor on the LRM just because it's going to be one of our main, let's put 60 on the front. Let's take a look here what it usually carries. So it usually carries SRM-2s, two of them, two jump jets, three jump jets, one, two, three, four, heat sinks, okay. Auto cannon, oh, okay, here's the actual fit. So medium laser, medium laser, SRM-2. Okay, so let's get rid of that SRM-10 because it's really probably just too heavy not allowing enough armor so let's go back so that's short range so this is more of a okay SRM2 do I have, SRM, I have SRM2 okay so SRM2 which I'm gonna put I guess in the head I could do that'd be that'd work um, let's go back here this is the standard fit so let's just see so striker cavalry means it, it can move well 
It can come in and hit and run. So SRM2, it's got two SRM2s, so we can do that. We'll put them both in the center torso. I'm not sure why you wouldn't. Okay, and then SRM ammo, we can also put in the same location. Okay, so SRM2, SRM2, jump jet, one. Oh, I see. So they've got head, center torso, jump jet. So let's do that. Let's just fit it exactly as a, so head, da -da -da, and jump jet. Okay, so jump jet, jump jet, in the center torso. Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay, head, okay. Then medium laser in the right arm. We can do that. We'll just do that, and then we can tweak it later. We can mess around with it. Medium laser in the right arm. Okay, we've done that. Okay, what else you got? Jump jet in the, okay, LRM5 in the right torso, and that's where he puts all the ammo. Ooh, that seems risky. So LRM5 in the right torso, and that's where he puts his LRM ammo and his SRM ammo. Okay, so we want to protect that torso. And then uh, he also has a jump jet there. Okay, we can do that. Jump jet goes there. Okay, uh, so jump jet, LRM ammo, LRM, okay, good, good. LRM, okay, then left arm has a medium laser and left torso has out of cannon 5K. So left arm has a medium laser, well, which it already does. Uh, left torso has the auto cannon 5, okay, we've done that. And then we've got jump jet, Auto cannon ammo and SRM ammo, so we're carrying some extra SRM ammo. So SRM ammo goes here. Auto cannon five ammo. Uh, hmm. Well, I hope the store has some of that. Back to the store. Please, store, have auto cannon five ammo. Okay, good. Buy. Good. We'll just buy one set, I guess. Well, I don't know if the game actually runs out of stuff, so we'll buy two just in case. Because that's really the only projectile weapon we have for this mech. So, auto cannon 5 ammo also goes there. And let's see what else we got. SRM ammo, and a jump jet, and then two heat sinks in each leg. So, another jump jet goes there. And then two heat sinks. I seems like we should be heavy, but I guess I... That, LRM-10 really added a lot of weight. Okay, so we are heavy by a third, almost a half a ton. But I did raise the, so we'll just go max armor, and then we'll play around with that. So you see it's a 24. I usually take these down to even numbers because I need to be able to bump up these other ones. Really need to protect both those torsos. Boy, look at that. Um, let's bump that up. We just don't have a ton of armor on this thing. So those that weight doesn't give us a lot of armor options. Let's see if it actually shows you armor here. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So head, 16. Center torso. Legs. Yeah, I don't, that's not showing me anything that I can use because it's saying 65. It's not going to do that with this setup. Mm, front armor, 65, 60, yeah, so that's not. Armor structure, so 45 is just telling us the total you have available, okay. It's not telling us what they fit it out with. Okay, well, that's the stock configuration. Okay, so 25, 25 in the legs, 25 in the arm, 25 in the arm, 50, 20, 50, 20. We're still too heavy. There, that takes us down. And we actually have a working Shadowhawk. Oof. Ten days away. So just be in time because I plan to let Brady, let uh, Jumpman drive this one. Make sure we've got everything. One, two, three. Three jump jets. Is that what we need? One, two, three jump jets. Four heat sinks. Four heat sinks. Auto cannon, five ammo. SRM ammo. And, okay, I think we're good. That's about as good as we're going to get right now. Okay, so Striker Cavalry. Not sure. Oh, there we go. Shadowhawk 2D is an interesting model. Its default payout sacrifices a lot of armor to mount a bit more firepower. Okay, that was obvious. Though some argue the trade-off isn't worth it. Its alpha strikes are better, though, so I guess you can be the judge. Hmm. I like armor. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, that's the Shadowhawk. It is a, it's, a, it's one of the classic mechs. It comes from the original game. It does have a equivalent in Japanimation in uh, the old, I think, Macross, maybe Robotech. Uh, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called. But it was in the original game as one of the, the original Battletech board game mechs. So uh, what's this? Default. Umbra. Oh, okay, these are the, let's, let's pick a paint job. Default, Umbra. Hmm, that's a strange, it only has two? What do we want? Yeah, I think the Umbra looks better. It looks like a complete, oh, it's a, what is that? I didn't even know you could do that. It looks like a totally different model. Well, I like that. Okay, so we also have the Jenner, which is fine. No damage really to worry about. So let's take a look at these. The Jenner SRM for one, two, three, four medium lasers. So he's a hard hitter. He has a lot less jump than the previous one. So if we actually look at this, we don't want to refit him because we want to go on a mission. But the stock row does SRM, two medium lasers, and one, two, three jump jets, and no, oh wait, four meters. So no heat sinks in this one. I've put heat sinks in it, which drops the armor a bit. Really makes a difference once you get into water. You can just shoot, 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 shoot without any any kind of issues. Okay. Uh, let's get back out of here. The other Jenner is fitted more in a standard way, but it does have heat sinks too. So the armors come down. But when so these things I've been playing them as long as I have initiative, I can poke out, shoot, and then I do that at the end of the turn. And at the start of the turn, I poke back. So we'll just call that the. Uh, the Shadowhawk fitting mech, the fitting video. The Vindicator's still trash beyond use. And there's the Umber. Now let's go back, to, let's go to the captain's quarters and see if we can take a look at that. Oh, I guess we can't. But that's a that's a pretty cool mech. I'm gonna actually go back and see if I have those same options with the other mechs. I never even noticed that before. So let's go here. Yeah, so you don't. The Shadowhawk, oh, I, you know what, the Umbra, I, I got the Shadowhawk pack in the, when I was doing the beta on this game, and I think that might be the option I have there. So I have the option of that different model, it looks like. Okay, well, that's the Shadowhawk. It's fitted. It'll be ready in 10 days. Jumpman will be ready in 8. Oh, okay, it's going to be ready in 20 days because the Panther's going to be out in 10. I think we are going to stop work on that. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So the Panther has been repositioned. Let's take a look at the Panther here. So, Panther, yeah. Uh, we do, I think, want to put the Panther back into the queue, though. So, we'll put it behind the Shadowhawk. Uh, it's going to repair. That's all it needs was those repairs. So, Panther, 16 days. Uh, that's the Panther there. That's all it needed, really? No, that's the damaged Panther. So, we don't want to do that either. Yeah. Okay, so we want the good Panther. Needs repairs, which we're going to do. Okay, stop. Confirm, okay. Refit. Which one of these did we want to refit? Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty trashed. They're both pretty trashed, to be, to be honest. I don't know which is better. And I don't even remember how we fit this out. Standard-wise, we do not have a PPC, and there's not one for sale, but we put a large laser in there. So replace, 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 repair. You can also press the repair all button. You can also strip all equipment if you want, which we can do. And you do that before you put it into mothballs. You can strip the armor if you want. No reason to do that. So we can put a large laser. Uh, hmm, okay, that doesn't work. LRM5. I wonder how we fit this out before. Yeah, that... LRM-5, LRM ammo, uh, you might not put it there because of an ammo explosion, so we'll put it over here, I guess, LRM ammo over here, also now we risk, because we don't have case in this, case is a special uh, armor that allows you to, if, if your ammo explodes, it explodes outwards from the torso rather than exploding inwards. Because damage works. You hit an arm, you take out the arm, you go into the torso, outer armor, inner armor, then you go into the center torso. If you have a LRM ammo explosion here, it takes all the ammo left, adds up all the damage that would 
all that ammo will do, and then it just works its way in towards your. So usually an ammo explosion of LRM ammo is going to destroy a mech like the Panther. It's just not heavy enough to take that kind of damage. <clears throat> so the thing we can do here, large laser gives us a lot more armor choice. also gives us more weapon choice. We've put an LRM-5 in here. We could put a second LRM. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, just one. Uh, what if we could put an LRM-10 there? That's interesting. So 31 tons. Mm, I like that. That is actually an interesting fit. Heat-wise, we're doing just fine. Range is uh, 630. So good range. Let's try that. We don't really, I mean, that's a short range weapon. We could, uh, the only place, yeah, those can only go there. So I don't see any reason to put anything else on here. There's nothing we can really put on here anyway, so. So let's go with that. We'll put some jump jets. That's right. We need jump jets for this mix. See, jump jets. So we're going to put some jump jets here. Jump jet. Come on. Give me a jump jet. Jump jet. Jump jet. Watching the tonnage because we do want to add a little more armor if we can. Maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look at what jump jets it has on the standard. One, two, three, four. So it uses four and two heat sinks. Okay. Because jumping really heats you up. So let's put two heat sinks heat sinks in the leg right away get those in place and it says four jump jets eh? so jump jets I think are a ton so that gives us three on oh, no, a half a ton okay so well we can go with that 50 on the legs that's quite a bit 50 20 35 50 50 25 okay so we've dropped it on the arm nothing really over here to worry about we probably want to lower a little bit here and raise a little bit there Okay, I think that's not bad. So we're going to do that. It's 12 days. It's going to, it'll add on to the 10 days. So it'll be 22 days that this will be fixed, I think. Let's take a look. Confirm. Panther with that long-range loadout. Yeah, 22 days. Shadowhawk's coming up in 10. Jumpman will be out of the hospital and back in shape to pilot it. All right, that's it for this one. Panther's fixed. And one more time, one more look at the Umbra Shadowhawk. Okay, looking forward to piloting that baby. Bye.